Hi guys, it's Q&A Thursday. Lori and Bob Hollander here to answer your questions. We had a woman send in a question. Uh, her husband did not stick up for her when her mother-in-law uh, was critical of her. Right. And she was very upset and they ended up having a fight about it. And what should I do? Mm -hmm. So Bob and I are going to uh, play this out in the wrong way. And then we are going to show you the right way. Right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So, sure. honey. Yeah. You know, when we were at your, your mother's the other night, your mom started to tell me she did not like the way that I dress. Right. And I couldn't believe it. You're looking like big deal. That's the look on well, your face. Well, I mean, I can't control what my mom says. Uh, that's how she felt, and um, that's the way my mom that's is. She's not open. very nice. She's what do you mean open. That's how she felt. Well, she she looked at if, you, and if she, she didn't like what I was wearing or how I looked. She shouldn't say that to me. And if she does, you need to stick up for yeah. me. So what am I going to tell her? Am I going to script her about what to say? You should just kind of like, you know, man up oh. to the fact that. She, if she says something to you, then just accept it. You should just know uh, that's the way right. she is. I, I can't well, forget talk about it. this forget anymore. Forget it then. Okay. Oh. Did you come back? All right. Okay. That was pretty typical, huh, Bob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, like now we're going to do it the right way. Okay. Okay. Hey, we're back, and we're going to show you yeah. how to do this argument in the right way. Right. And my focus and my mantra is sit with her feelings I'm going to have a time to express to her my feelings and she's going to be sitting with my feelings mm -hmm. okay so we'll both have a turn yeah. this okay. is not easy it's not especially when when people are in dialogue this is more like one monologue following another monologue okay okay so Bob I need to tell you what happened the other night when we were at your mom's, okay. and I really need your full attention. This really hurt me. Your mom said that she didn't like what I was wearing the other night and was highly critical of me, and I not only felt insulted, mm -hmm. but you were there, and you didn't stick up for me, and that made it even worse. I was really, really hurt. Okay. Um, it must have been difficult when you felt hurt by her for me not to be there for you. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those situations where you expected me to be fully supportive of you, mm -hmm. and I wasn't. Yeah. Um, and I know it's your mom, mm -hmm. but, you know... If if anybody hurts me, I would expect you to be protective, whether it's your mom or right, anyone. Right, right. So, um, I I let you down in that okay. situation. All right. Now, and I'm sorry you you went through that. Okay. Now tell me from your chair okay. what happened. Okay. That's true, but and thank you for allowing me to tell you now what was going on with me. I felt that. I was in the middle once more. I was reliving my parents' divorce, in a sense. Um, you, I, I clearly knew that you wanted me to support. Yeah, that you wanted me to support you. Um, and I was also feeling, you know, this is my mom, and I've been always protective of her. So I found myself in a position where I wanted to support you. Um, I, I also have this feeling and allegiance to my mom, and I felt like I was being torn apart. I didn't quite know what to do. Okay. So that's why I came out where I wasn't supportive of you. Okay. Well, from your chair, I can understand that. You, you know, the two women in your life, and your intention wasn't to let me down, right. but really you felt trapped between what your mom was saying and, and how I felt, right. and not really knowing who to support or right. what to do, right? so you sort of froze? Is I was like a deer in the headlights. I, I, no matter which way I went, I would fail. Okay. So I was confused. Okay. 
All right. Well, thank you for listening and validating my feelings. So I just wanted to know, the next time this happens, yeah. I know you see. I know you really need me there, but as you as you saw, it was very very difficult. So how should I handle it next time? Should I just should I just blast my mom? Or? No, I would appreciate if you would say, "Mom, that's that's hurtful." You know what? Um, if this happens again, since it's it's even difficult for me to wonder how she would take that, can I just take you aside, and this way at least we're I take myself out of this little boy mode, and I'm with my wife, dealing with mm -hmm. my mom. Mm -hmm. And if I could just kind of like talk to you about how to handle this situation. Okay, that's fine. So I feel that I could think it through and a little bit. maybe you could just take her aside. Yeah, okay. And then yeah, yeah. say to her, Mom, that really was right, very right. hurtful to Lori. And just to point yeah. it out to her. Right, that would be good. Maybe she doesn't know. Yeah, I wouldn't be in the middle again. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right. Thanks for listening, honey. You're welcome, honey. Easy, huh? Yeah, it's very easy because, you know, it's interesting because I think a lot of people want to get their point across. And if I'm trying to get my point across when she's trying to get her point across, I should know I'll never break through. Nobody's heard. It's so much easier. Mm -hmm. And also, what you're getting here, it's, it's this, you have the same problem, but in the midst of the problem, you're connecting. And that changes the conversation. Yes. So thanks for sending that question in, and right. you folks out there, right. we're right. here. Send us your questions yeah. to info at relationshipswork.com. And another thing about your mother. Oh, stop. Okay. okay. All right. Take care, folks. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. My scraggly hair. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay.